Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about how to get free performance out of your airplane. This free performance can reduce your landing speeds, reduce your takeoff roll, and increase your climb. And these tips are not just about pilot technique, but also some things you can do in your airplane that will help performance and are free. Let's start with pilot technique, ground effect, taking off from lower loon in Idaho, high density altitude. What I try to do is you can see my arms pulling for taking off and then pushing in the early so I stay in ground effect so I can gain more speed because the takeoff speed is real slow and I want to accelerate in ground effect so by the time I'm crossing the river that something has down thrust I have plenty of speed. From this angle with the camera under the wing appreciate it more how close to the ground I try to stay to gain more acceleration and then cross the river at higher speed than if I just do a normal takeoff. Another reason I'm using ground effect on this strip is because it is rough and I rather accelerate in the air than on the ground with all the vibration in the airplane so what I'm trying to do is be in the air as soon as possible in the case of the sportsman stall I can use 30 degrees of flaps I have noticed that at high altitude airports like this 20 degrees of flaps work better once I have the speed and some altitude I reduce to 10 degrees and then to 0 degrees this strip is in the Mubri in Costa Rica, it's an Indian community on the Atlantic coast near the border with Panama. Very rough strip. I want to be in the air as soon as possible. I stay in ground effect to be able to climb over the tall trip. The lower you stay, the more performance you get on ground effect. Now next is my friend Jughead with his Cessna 170 B. This is a real scenario where it really works. This is the Hicken in Washington State, very windy day and there is turbulence over the trees. He is in the air quick and stays in ground effect for as long as possible before crossing the tall trees where there is a lot of turbulence and wind. So he wants to arrive there at the maximum speed. So he is less vulnerable for the turbulence and the high winds over the trees. Next topic is CG, center of gravity. Most Cessnas are nose heavy, most people fly them just like that. It does make a big difference if you can have a center CG. Also you don't want to go too far back. Here is a quick explanation of what the CG does to an airplane. Center CG makes a big difference, it makes for a very nice flying airplane. Easy to control, a slower stall speed, shorter takeoffs and landings. Nose of the airplane won't feel as heavy. The airplanes I fly, I make sure the center of gravity is centered, so it has a very nice characteristics for flying. This way you don't run out of an elevator when coming slow or have a heavy nose 
fuel and take it off. To achieve this center of gravity in the Cessna 170, I had to add 60 pounds of ballast. I think 60 pounds is a lot of weight, so I wanted to fix this and took the airplane to span a flight in Pierce County Airport in Washington State and they did a great job. We installed a U-Avionics AV-30 instrument. We lose two pounds there in the forward CG area. It doesn't sound like a lot but once I install the second AV-30 I can get rid of the vacuum system and we lose about 12 pounds. Also the Atlee Dodge folding seats were installed and we lost 20 pounds instead of the original bench. Of course the weight loss of the AV-30 and Atlee Dodge seats are not free. I wanted to get rid of the 60 pounds of ballast so I got a field approval to be able to remove the battery and place it free seat further back. This way I will get rid of the 60 pounds of bulk. For this I took the airplane to the landing gear works at Renton Airport. It's not finished yet but I can wait to fly it without the ballast. It should feel pretty good. So even if you don't add any lightweight instruments, just by adding ballast it is totally worth it. We also did it in my 182. When I got the P-Punk engine, it felt nose heavy, even I had the empty two blade propeller. We added 11 pounds of ballast at the tail cone, and we got the center of gravity centered. And you can immediately, on the very first takeoff, feel the difference. So adding ballast will help. And it is free. Just check your weight and ballast sheet and make sure it's not too much because then it's dangerous. You have a aft CG on an airplane. All airplanes are different in case of the CJ6 Nanchan military trainer. You don't feel much the CG or the weight of the airplane when it changes. It's just a little bit but not as much as in the Cessnas. Next tip, amount of fuel. This is especially important in high density altitude airports and backcountry flying. Carry just the amount of fuel you need for this flight plan plus your reserve. You don't need to carry full fuel tanks for every flight. Weight is performance. When I used to plan my flights in my Cessna 182, I usually calculate what was going to need it for the flight plus 22 gallons reserve, which is an hour and a half. So for a 2 hour flight, I will carry 48 gallons of fuel. Then I got nice, very accurate fuel equipment, size fuel senders and aerospace logic gauges, which are very accurate. And now I do the flight, what I need to do, use for the flight, plus 15 gallons. Sometimes I even leave fuel at some bigger airstrip, do the shorter ones. Once I'm low on fuel, I go back and refuel. Of course, when I'm flying IFR, I want to have as much fuel as possible. Tire pressures, when flying off airport or to tall grass, muddy streets, Tire pressure is a very important, can make a big difference. It will add flotation for soft strips, and when you go to gravel bars or rocky strips, it will help absorb the vibration. So, this tip is totally free and definitely it works. In my Cessna 182, I have 850s on the mains and 7 on the nose when I go to soft strips 
For guard bars I use 15 pounds on the mains and 25 on the nose. On the Cessna 170B I have 31 inch Alaska bush wheel tires and when going to gravel bars I put 8 pounds of air pressure that makes absorb all the rocks and the roughness of the terrain plus adds lots of flotation and in the baby bush wheel tire on the rear I put 10 pounds and this is the final tip probably the easiest one it is if you want performance you can fly earlier there is much cooler and will give you a lot better performance for the engine and for the lift also usually the winds are calm so you will have a smooth ride I think it's the easiest to do and I really enjoy flying early in the morning hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to support Backcountry 182 please join me on Patreon thank you for watching It is very easy to join, to be a patron of Backcountry 182, go to the YouTube channel, on the right hand side, there is the link, and then it takes you to the patron page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also another way to access the patron link is in the description of the video. I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel there is a link for Patreon so just click on that and it will take you to the page thank you for watching it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support